Hello and welcome to Trike Ray's first walkthrough. I'm going to choose Star Wars Republic Commando and play through the campaign mode. This game is basically just like a Halo type first person shooter where you also command your squad as well and set in the Star Wars universe. Which I thought worked really well. Now, I'm going to shoot on and introduce you to the life of a clone. Now, here you wake up in some tank, I assume, with some enormous necked woman leaning over you. Well, I think she's a woman anyway, but she doesn't even have any hair. And, apologize that the graphics look a bit bad, but I had to sacrifice something so I can record it as I did, and it runs pretty smoothly, I thought. And suddenly we wake up as a, I'm assuming, a junior kid. Looks like he's in the middle of school with some weird interface computer thing. <laughs> Trying to learn, I assume, but soon all they need to know is how to hold a gun. I don't think it's that important. And suddenly we have another flash forward, only this time we are, by the looks of it, weapons training. Incredibly basic without any actual AI opponents. And I don't know who they are in the red, I guess they're pilots of some sort. And another flash forward. <laughs> Now let's see, we're getting our commando armor. <laughs> Look how he's like, <laughs> Look at me. And here's our helmet. It looks a lot like Django Fett and Boba Fett's helmet, only a bit more standard and less colorful. <laughs> Looks like we're in a combat simulator. I don't actually know it's shooting them at this point the enemies will actually make a difference but I decided to since the record turned red and it's a good practice I suppose without being in danger and that's quick and suddenly we get another flash forward and in this time we get introduced to our team and there's Delta 40 in front of us in the green Delta 7 in the red and Delta 62 in the yellow he's like hey he's just like he seems like <laughs> He's like really in the conversation there. I may have set the sensitivity a bit too high for the HUD because it seemed to be jolting quite a bit. But I don't think it's too bad quality, is it? I recorded this game in Fraps. Full screen, we're playing it. I kind of wish I could have narrated it as I did play it, but it's that noisy this game. <laughs> Great. And we're just about to leave Camino now, off to go to Geonosis to fight the first fight, basically, seen in the end of Star Wars Episode 2. Let the Clone Wars begin. This is basically just the introduction, just before the second half of Star Wars Episode 2. Far rather carnage. Ooh. Because <laughs> in the most Delta squads work around the ground, you wouldn't actually even see them in the movie. <laughs> Zero Hour Clone Wars Genosis. And it looks like we finally wake up. I think we're in the Republic dropship about to take off. Oh, it's all dark. Ah. The guy next to me doesn't really seem to be bothered. He just stares at the floor the whole time. Looks like we finally entered the atmosphere of Geonosis. Is my superior officer, even though he's dressed in a normal trooper's outfit. You'd think you would have someone dressed in a posh suit or something, commanding someone. A great stuff, just such to myself. I mean, he was quick. <laughs> Look at all his walkers, though. They are pretty awesome. Like the spider. Or the big spider droids, I don't really know what they're called, the big ones. <laughs> Extreme prejudice and let the mission begin.
Start. And off we go. Looks like he's already died already. He's pretty pointless. And so he's in squad link. Up on to the hut. And off we go. <laughs> I was just testing for my knife. I can't remember what key it was. <laughs> And the first generation just got blown to bits. <laughs> it's a bit violent this game. <laughs> Somehow I lost half already. I didn't remember the reason. I'll just see if I can shoot them from here, which I can't. It's too far away. And no, I don't want the hints. Basically, just telling me how to use the heal dispenser or back the tank dispenser. That was an excellent as well. There's a lot of in this game. You just hope that whatever's blocking your way just gets blown up. Because <laughs> that's how we perceive in the areas. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Great game of hate insects. <laughs> Good double shot though. that red draw you'd get in there, he's flying around, I have no idea what he's actually doing. <laughs> and I decided to switch to my pistol because it was a bit more accurate and I was getting a bit frustrated with the lack of accuracy of the rifle. I don't know whether it was me or just my mouse being a pain. Unit eliminated. Where is that your guy? <laughs> Cute shot of that walker. And I'm like, ooh, bugger. <laughs> Reload, reload. <laughs> See, the knife does come in very handy because it's pretty much just an instant kill if you're close range. Nothing, you just can't be bothered just to shoot him. <laughs> He's lost his head. Just like, what the hell's happening? And another obstacle got blown up. <laughs> He's like, he's too slack, he's waiting down here, he's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's just hiding underground, it's cowards. He's too pain, he just did not want to die. The Trade Federation battle crews are really lightly armoured, so they're pretty easy to take down. It's got battery fluid all over my face. <laughs> it's pretty good effect with like the visor and the clean itself every so often. It gives more realism to it. And I'm going to have to wrap it up there for now. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to continue this mission next time. I hope to see you on my next video. This has been Tri Craig. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon.